I know many of you read the title and assume that this is clickbait or exaggeratory, but it's not. You may not believe me yet. Wait until I show you the evidence, the proof. This is the most unhinged individual we've looked at yet. He's equal parts frightening and fascinating, tiptoeing on the fine line between intrigue and how are they not locked in Arkham Asylum. It's a, it's a mystery here. He's like the product of a science experiment gone wrong. Like if Professor Utonium added chemical cringe to the concoction instead of chemical X and then created this weirdo. Since I've been down this rabbit hole, this bender of consuming awful romantic texts and bad dating stories and bad dating videos and all that, this guy is now at the top of the tier list for the weirdest. Like all great fairy tales, it begins over Facebook memes. So he says, did you block me on Facebook? To which she responds, nah, my profile got deleted, maybe, I don't know, lol, long story. Then he goes, you don't have to lie. I can just feel the sadness emanating from that line there. I can imagine him looking down and kicking his feet in some sand. And she goes, I'm not. You can ask pretty much anyone. The profile is gone. To which he responds, I'm not going to waste my time finding out you're lying to me. So now you're going to ignore me. This is, I'm assuming, a lot of time passing between those two texts. And by a lot of time, I mean probably like five minutes because this guy's fucking delusional. So he double texts her like, oh, so now you're ignoring me? Now that I've called you out on lying about this? She responds by saying, it's not like that, it's just I don't like being called a liar. He then claims, I didn't call you a liar, I just wanted to know what was going on. <laughs> and then she says, I told you and you said I lied, dude. I don't even know why he's trying to pretend that he didn't call her a liar. He can literally look two text messages back and see that he point blank blatantly does call her a liar, basically. He is, he's already off his gourd right now. He's fuming because this account that he follows posts memes that he likes and now he doesn't get access to those memes and he's thrown in temper tantrum. But really, at the end of the day, it's not so much the memes. He wanted to try and shoot his shot here with the individual who runs the account. He then tries a new angle by going for pity. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Just been going through shit. That sucks about your Facebook. And then he's able to almost cobble together a normal human interaction here. She goes, shit happens, it's cool. Just been in my head and your memes brighten my day. I got weird because I didn't do anything wrong for you to block me like that. My memes actually got me banned. This reminds me of like the potion seller video on YouTube a while back. You can't handle my strongest potions, traveler. But in this case, it's memes for Facebook. And he just goes, for real? That's crazy. You post them all the time though. It must be something fucked up, haha. -ha. Well, if you made another Facebook, you better add me first. I'll be waiting, JK. To which she just... Tries to close it out by saying, lol, yeah. Next chapter in this cringe anime is him trying to pull out the Riz here. Trying to showcase his game. So what are you doing, dork? Haha, -ha. causing more trouble for Zuck? He's going for like the playful insults kind of thing. Like, oh, you dork. You fucking dweeb geek. What are you up to, huh? And she just goes, nothing. Just hanging out. That's so cool. <laughs> I love that with the exclamation point. He's like, whoa, badass. I bet you're kicking ass in Animal Crossing, huh? Is it that fun? It looks too much for kids. It must be since you keep ghosting me. Do you play any real games? To which she's baffled saying, how is that not a real game? So again, a certain amount of time elapses between his first message with the, that's so cool, NPC dialogue, and then him going, oh, it must be so good you're ghosting me. So this guy's flipping emotions back and forth rapidly. His brain is all over the place. His fucking noodle is scrambled. And then he tries to, like, make an argument out of this. Successfully making an argument out of this, by the way. By calling Animal Crossing not a real game. So he tries to get, like, this sort of elitism about him when it comes to gaming. So I'm assuming he came straight from Reddit. And was just ready to get argumentative about, like, what a real game is. And Animal Crossing doesn't fit the criteria. Yo, you serious? Laughing emoji. It's dumbass animals or some shit being your friends. No real gaming, you know that. Oh, my, oh, it hurts me to even just read that. And then she goes, well, what's a real game then? You don't have to get an attitude, I'm just making fun, dork. Oh, why are you getting offended? I'm just insulting what you're playing. Like, what, what are you getting all bent out of shape over? Oh, come on, calm down. What, are you on your period or something? Well, why don't you ask one of your dumbass animal friends to help you with it or something? Like, <laughs> dork? <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so painful reading this guy's text. And it only gets worse. It gets even more outrageous. But he's so aggressive with everything. 
It's like he treats a text conversation like it's an active war zone. Rocket League is a way better game than that, but I guess that's not cute enough for you. Yeah, not enough sunshine and rainbows for you girly girls. <laughs> it is a real man's battlefield. And speaking of battlefield, game like Battlefield, Cyberpunk, Far Cry, shit, Madden, that's a sport. And men like me play sports. I could help you play them. What a generous offer from this guy. Wow, tell me you're a basic white guy without telling me you're a basic white guy. You got jokes. Double laughing crying emoji. All that is casual shit. Pick up a real game, get on my level. I really appreciate that now she's just making fun of him directly to his face. I have no doubt she was laughing while writing all this shit just to string him along and continue to watch him embarrass himself like the clown he is. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm playing around, dork! Every game I play is so much more hardcore than what you just said. Witcher, Shin Megami Tensei, fucking Fable even. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. She started to insult his gaming choice, insinuating he's not playing real games and she's more hardcore. And he does not take kindly to that. Now he gets exceptionally whiny. Why are you being such a bitch? I'm literally trying to have a convo, that's it. And oh brother, it's the worst conversation ever attempted. I feel like I should have blocked you even if I did have Facebook. You're insulting my game choices. Which is all he's been doing is just insulting what she plays. I don't know why he thinks it's just some like normal conversation. And he keeps calling her a dork like it's straight out of Ed Ed Netty or something. I don't know what he was expecting. Because they're weak AF and you're being a cunt over nothing. Whatever. She really hasn't even been even close to mean. Not an iota of malice from her here. All she did was like defend her game choices and then joke about what he's playing being casual. Which it is. Fucking Rocket League, Madden, Battlefield. Like, what are you talking about? It's not like you're some kind of hardcore gamer playing some niche shit. You're playing the most mainstream games ever. <laughs> like, it's so silly. I don't know why he thinks that she's some supervillain that's just been doing nothing but belittling him. He started it, and she's not even doing anything mean. Does your mom know you talk to women like this? My mom won't around. Why, TF, you bringing that up? That checks out. You have zero respect for me or anyone. You're just a fat bitch who does nothing and leads people on. You're nothing. Fuck you, I was being nice. <laughs> if this is him being nice, I am so curious to see what him being mean looks like. He immediately just breaks down into his fucking soiled diaper meltdown. You're a fat bitch! And he keeps using the wrong your. He never even accidentally gets the correct form of your in any of his statements here, which grinds my ass a little bit. But then he's like, you just lead people on. What? How? How did she lead you on? By responding to you? Granted, this is probably the first woman that has ever responded to a text message from this guy, so maybe that's, like, where things got misconstrued. He thought that since she responded to his initial message, she must be interested. This is so baffling, it's making my voice crack. My vocal fo folds are freaking out because it's so odd that someone could have a rotted brain like this. No wonder you can't get a boyfriend, bitch. I don't settle for trash like your baby moms. You called me a liar, shit on my games, play even more trash games. At least they gettin' dick, unlike your fugly ass. You have no idea what you do. <laughs> what does that mean? You have no idea what you do? I don't even understand what that statement's supposed to mean. Bet you have fucking herpes, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> How many kids do you have custody of again, lol? How many of your boyfriends died? Which, I, I'm guessing these two must know each other through Facebook mutuals or something, so you must see... Like some of the stuff that she posts because that sounds legitimately extremely personal and if that is a real situation that one of her partners died that is one of the most vile fucking things you can say to somebody and this guy is an irredeemable insufferable piece of shit wow so this is what you do to get girls insult them again i was playing but you had to be a cunt what do you mean you were playing your whole thing was just being aggressive from the start by just constantly spamming the word dork while insulting her playing Animal Crossing. She then continues to just take the piss, so she goes, Okay, I'm sorry, I've been going through shit too. How are you at Rocket League anyway? And then immediately, he just simmers down, he's back to like, good boy status. I understand. I sorry too. <laughs> going caveman mode. I'm pretty good. I can show how to level up. What's your ranking? Platinum. 
So you're mediocre at best. I'm fucking Plat 2 and Diamond 2. And I'm trash. In Rocket League, Plat isn't very high. That's where the majority of players end up. So he's not good. He's not good at all. What's your gamer tag? Why? So it also seems like he's lying about this because no sensible person would brag about being Plat in Rocket League. So she's starting to catch him on a bluff where he's puffing out his chest and just lying about his Rocket League rank, which is even more pathetic. I want to see for myself. What console? What's the matter? You don't have an Xbox. I play on Switch. It's on all consoles. So he's starting to sweat a little bit like he's pressed against the wall. My gamer tag? Why? What? Why? Why? Why do you want to know that? He tries desperately to turn this around into a situation where they can see each other, which sounds like it'd be downright dangerous to be around this guy. Why don't we hang and I can show you? What's your tag? I got trust issues. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what is your gamer tag? It shouldn't be an issue, right? You're plat in Rocket League. You're a big guy, a big man. What's the gamer tag? What do you mean you got trust issues? Again, ignoring that. I'm just curious. It seems like you're lying. I'm not. And then she drops a meme. It smells like bitch in here. Which is just genuinely a normal, silly meme. It's not even, like, mean. If anything, it's clearly meant to be, like, a joke. And for some reason, this sets him off in the biggest way yet. A fucking atomic bomb in his brain here. And he unleashes the Godzilla heat breath. Cunt. Fuck you, fat piece of shit. You have no idea who you mess with. Go die. Everyone at Dress hates you and thinks you're a slut. I thought differently, wanted to give you a chance. I thought you were a nice girl and want to be your friend. I'm sure this was the best way you can do it. By the way, I have a fresh meme. Taking care of my kids, lying to women about my Rocket League rank. So she's just dropping some memes on him at this point here, just adding insult to injury. To which he responds, just kill yourself already. He's trapped in 2009 Xbox Live Gamer Zone. He's, he's really fucking struggling here, treading water. I can hear the tears in his eyes right now. Literally feel them through his sad texting. Forever hard stuck plat in Rocket League and forever hard stuck being alone in life with an attitude like this. What an absolute curse. He just continues speaking like an anime villain. Fucking with me, you slut. Wait, can I not get dick, or am I a slut? Pointing out a contradiction because he keeps calling her a slut, and then also saying that she can't get any wiener. So he's all over the place, he's scrambled. Yeah, I'd bet you'd want it after this, you whore. Choke on a dick, whale. Just continues having a fucking conniption. Can't believe I wanted to build something with someone so dumb and nasty. And then again, she just responds with another meme. Like, what do you mean you wanted to build something with her? You reached out about feeling like you'd been blocked and immediately started calling her a liar. What what world are you living in? What fantasy land? What? You immediately start by calling her a liar and then insulting her choice of games and talking about how you're like a real alpha gamer, not like an Animal Cross gamer like she is. It's fascinating. This is what I mean. Like, it's actually intriguing how someone's mind could end up so poisoned. Like, it is hard for me to comprehend it. Like, I really... I, I don't get it. He is so all over the place. Like, he starts by getting really mean and aggressive, insulting her games and all that, you know, then gets really personal, and then she's able to de-aggro him by talking about his Rocket League rank, which it, it calms him down, feeds him a warm bottle of milk. And then the second she drops a meme making a joke, again, he explodes once more. It's just so peculiar. Anyway, though, here's the finale. Everyone knows you're a slut. A little fat slut who uses people. I, I, again, this comes out of fucking nowhere. She didn't use you. She didn't lead you on. She didn't do anything besides just respond to your initial unhinged messages. Couldn't get a boyfriend for years. That's because everyone... It just it, she keeps going. Got too much time in your hands, but I bet your mouth is filled with someone's nasty dick. And she just goes, yep, not yours. That's the end of their exchange. I imagine she probably blocked him again, which is the safe thing to do. What a creepy lunatic. An actual fucking unsafe to be around individual. Like, this all happened over nothing. Actually nothing. Started because of not having access to some memes that he liked. Oh, painful. I had to share this one. I think this is now at the top of the food chain when it comes to like creepy people through you know, romantic texts that I've been diving through. This one is a rough one. 
So yeah, that's really about it. See ya.